Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, hello. More politics today. We have Bernie Sanders endorsing Sank Uger. Is that how you say his fucking name? So good news. Bernie Sanders is going to be in... Wait, hold on. What? Oh, sorry. Um, you sure? All right, let's... Go with it. <clears throat> this just in. Bernie Sanders retracts and unendorses Sank Uger from the Young Turks. Wow. Okay, fun's over with that. This is funny. This is. Wow. I like Bernie Sanders for the most part, although well, no one's perfect. And Sank or Shank, Jank was an asshole for many years back in the day. So I guess uh, there's no surprise to him. But wow. Bernie, you have to stand up for something. You gotta. This is something you stand up for. We've seen this in social media. Someone's past comes back to haunt them. They were idiots. Uh, Republican morons at one point or whatever affiliation you say stupid things you want to get popular uh, you want to be uh, relevant and yeah it's not a pass uh, he'll have to live with his past forever I guess uh, since social media won't forget but you can see the body of work he's doing which you endorsed you had said uh, he would never back anybody with interest with money so for your movement he's fine uh you, you you get that so bernie sanders gets feedback about a day or two i mean okay and then you go out and say you're not going to endorse him because you had i just uh anyway Bernie Sanders says, our movement is bigger than any one person. I hear my grassroots supporters who were frustrated and understand their concerns. Sank today said he is rejecting all endorsements for his campaign, and I retract my endorsement. And obviously, Sank is Sank, Jank, whatever the fuck, is saying, I'm not taking endorsements. So, what did he actually say? Going forward from today, I will not accept endorsements. So it means Bernie Sanders has not endorsed me. What the fuck does that fucking mean? Anyway, I've seen uh, the Young Turks, Sank, Chank, Jank, own up to his shit. He had said shit about the name the Young Turks and where that came from. He's made his view in op-eds when he was younger. But well, people change. Uh, I'm not even a big fan of his, to be honest. Um, I have this discussion a lot of times with one of my friends. Uh, I'm happy he's in the movement, I guess, and I respect what he's doing and the impact the Young Turks have had on social media. It's really amazing. But I'm not a big fan of his, more in the sense of he doesn't relate to me when he talks and the way he talks and that type of thing. It's not like, you know, I have any personal gr grievance against him. Although, he'll admit he was an idiot when he was younger. That type of thing. But Bernie Sanders has a history of this too. He had an aide or someone in his party he threw under the bus not long ago. When he got cheated with the, uh, on the DNC. He didn't put his foot down. He went along with it. He even backed Hillary. Went to like 40 events to um, promote her, support her. And Hillary only went to like 17 of Obama's uh, to promote that when she lost to him. 
I get this feeling he caves in the, for these things, and fine. As long as it's not caving in to your main points, like Medicare for all, free college, uh, the waiver, um, important, those important things. I can understand what he's saying. Look, this could damage our movement. So fine, we want to cover your bases and keep your movement going because it's been an incredible movement even since 2016. This is a man who's going to stadiums and uh, consider him a rock star of the politicians. His crowds are immense, they're energetic. His movement resonates with people, unlike others who you'll see in bowling alleys and auditoriums or schools. And even the ones who have dropped out. Fucking see you later, Kamala Harris. Fuck yourself. So I don't think Bernie Sanders is the perfect candidate in person. I think he might be the best or what we need. Because I also believe that um, you need a balance of social programs. And, uh, anyway, I don't like this trend. I would have liked to have seen Bernie stand up for him. And I'm almost, almost surprised I'm saying this because I'm not a big fan of his, Sanks. I enjoy the Young Turks for certain things. When I went on my fact-checking mission and I wanted to see what sites were reliable, the Young Turks were up there in reliability and, I guess, truth, speaking the truth. Although hyperbolic and they have their own opinions that I believe are wrong, that's fine. And it's just disagreements. We can get by that. So Bernie's got to stick up with him. He should have went to bed and said, no, I'm not going to tolerate this. This is a man who, for the last certain amount of years, has dedicated his um, time and energy to a purpose that aligns with his, to Bernie's, to, I guess, progressives, if you want to call, uh, call it that, you know, label it that. Democrats in general. He even has the... I don't know what you call it, the special wing of the Democrats to justify fucking whatever. And they'll get candidates and put them in, even run against other Democrats who hold seats that um, they don't uh, go out and try to keep. You know, politics works. They sit in their fucking office and they just get run unopposed. So I'm okay with that type of thing. But to say... Sank is not a different person. He's not fighting for mostly the right things. You take your backlash of your backers, and it seems now that you're both kind of uh, falling back to that position where Sank's almost saying, okay, Bernie, I understand. You know what? I'm not taking any endorsements. I don't want to jeopardize my backers and your backers. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, disappointment. Maybe it's just like I said, just a little disappointment that I would have liked to have seen Bernie Sanders stand up for Sank, Jank, in this predicament. You go when you endorse somebody. It all makes me think that Bernie's not really involved. That it's like his people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sank backs us. He gives us a million. I don't know how much fucking money they do their shit. Uh, Bernie doesn't accept big money packs and stuff, but promotion and whatever. Yeah, let's endorse uh, Sank. And then all of a sudden, backlash happens and what does Bernie just get alerted then? Like, oh, you know, Mr. Sanders, uh, we backed uh, Jank Uger from the Young Turks as he's running for office and Last day's been fucking crazy. We got all this backlash. What do you want us to do? What, what does fucking Bernie do? Oh, oh, the guy's nice guy. He's great. And then they show him all the history. It's like, it's like, does he just know now what Jank has been up to or has said in the past? It seems kind of fucking stupid. 
You would think that Bernie would know a lot about what's going on, who who uh, Cenk used to be, who he is now, what are his motives and uh, ideas going forward. It seems weird. And I guess that's really it. Uh, I just thought this was surprising. Uh, I didn't get a chance to do my Bernie endorses Cenk Uger. I had to go right into Bernie Sanders' unendorses. This is a weird fucking time in American politics. And I don't know. But this doesn't sit well with me. I like Bernie. I like uh, him as a candidate. I think he's an honest player for the most part. As honest as we could be as humans. He's not perfect though. Nobody is, I don't think. But, man, should have just backed him. Should have stood up for him. Anyway, I think that'll be it. I don't have much more to go into. This is just something off the top of my head. I was jotting down little things about what I would talk about, and I knew I would do generally uh, just a podcast video on my politics and then I went into the impeachment inquiry. So the articles of impeachment been this just pops up out of nowhere. Like, oh, Bernie's endorsing Jank Uger. Cool. And then a day two fucking later, Bernie Sanders on endorses Jank. I don't know. I haven't looked too much out there, so I'll go check out the Jimmy Dawes and the um, fucking whoever those Republican Ben Shapiro's are. I'll see what it looks like from those angles, but I haven't really even looked into it at all. This is just something I heard and picked up on through various Facebook and Twitter feeds. And I purposely pulled back and said, you know, let me see how this resonates with me. And that's why I did this. It just feels funny. I just pulled up what they said. Uh, going forward from today, I will not accept them. Yeah, no, this whole thing just seems fucking weird. They just said, yeah, I backed the man. He's good. And that's it. I have faith in him. Now, how do we show we want to change? How do we show what we are going to do for the people? One of the reasons why I love Tulsi Gabbard is you look at her past, and she's somebody you would think I would be against. She was indoctrinated into religion, had views on the way people in society should live, loved her father, prote protected him, and stood up for him. Then when she got all the college and uh, armed forces, she grew as a person. And when you look at her record in voting, that's where the importance is. The vote she did, the, the law she wrote up. People could change. People could realize the mistakes they made. And when you're on a huge platform, because the Young Turks is huge, huge, I think you should be given a chance uh, for the most part. Well, what is he saying now? What is he saying in the last decade? Um, you know, and where is his, um, where do his loyalties lie now? What has he shown us? And the little I looked into it before, just in general in politics, like I said, on a fact-finding mission, they passed, uh, and so did he, but that doesn't absolve him of his past. So, That'll always haunt him in this day and age. You're not going to get away from that. So I guess Saint got burned, I guess, is the way to end this. Ouch. Till next time, everybody. I'll see you then.